bring uh, your lead, and Rame is also the mm. other sorceress is well, obviously uh, we cannot be sure that this is exactly what uh, yeah. I took my oath and joined the order in order okay. to serve it if my service calls for my permanent death, so be it mm. yeah mm. Master would not just let this go by and I decided to be as good as him mm-hmm Nothing else. I will certainly live on as legend. There is no choice in the matter here. Uh, we all made our oaths. Uh. Uh. The other option would be desertion. We all know what the order does to deserters. Uh. At this, the uh, cat lady in the back pipes up. Hmm, pff, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I cannot fucking do fuck. Why even try to do? No, you do it. You go <laughs> in. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay Sack, you're another cat. So let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, oh, we mo we most certainly try. But right, you can. It, L expect that whatever she says tries to like ooze with seductive undertones and it's not even like she tries to seduct you it's like it's she probably is using that as her tool to you know get a drop on people and assassinate them that is like second nature to her it's like very hard for her to like use a regular tone But yeah, she, she, she might look like very innocent and whatnot, and I decided, well, with a token like that, uh, with a face like that, yeah, she, well, let's make her like completely almost sociopathic, stone cold assassin bitch. I've played enough living worlds that the more anime the character, very likely the more broken the character is. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean anime as in the token. Yeah, in terms of mechanics or backstory character <laughs> no like the, the more anime the character token is the more broken mechanically the character is ah okay not that assassin is uh, effectively very actually very good prestige class at all sadly but you know that's a different matter <laughs> yeah prestige classes what are they <laughs> there are some fun ones i know if there's a couple that i'd like to try at some point <laughs> But yeah, maybe yeah, one or two cons. Like they seem like they think about it, but in general, uh, they just do not. They simply say, "Gravemos has been Wanderer's nemesis for the past three hundred years. We are not changing that now." And you do not see Eterno's face. It's like a, a cloak. Then you also probably imagine that he's some sort of like jumped up intelligent uh, elemental. But you can swear if he had normal face, he would have like this small proud smile. And he says, that, well, in times like these, in times of great need in the darkest hours, I'm glad to see that the gift has been given to the right people. All oh, this sentimentality is getting to me. <laughs> when do we? <laughs> I would much rather be something. All <laughs> oh, this sentimentality is getting to me. <sighs> Although I'd be much rather interested why? in when we head out. <sighs> why am I? Why are my eyes leaking? <laughs> ah, I can't cry. I burned out my eye ducts long ago, staring at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Up to this day, it still has to beat me in a, a staring contest. Uh, Eternal says, Akron, if you may assist me for just a moment, and they will just use their magical powers, I have no idea if there's a spell like that, uh, to essentially 
create a fantasy version of holographic uh, map of I mean, these lands. Major image. Just mm -hmm. a normal illusion spell could do it. So uh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> probably. Mm. And says, me. <clears throat> well, we have a rough idea where the wish machine is located. Trying to go at it directly and tampering with it. We do not believe it's the right course of uh, action. Uh, we believe that Grave Moss might just may just be waiting uh, for it if someone um, arrived there, and probably uh, we do not want to test if someone died right next to it. I imagine that some of you remember the feeling that when you perished temporarily. You feel like someone tried to tug at your soul. Mm. We do not want to risk being right next to the source of this tagging. Therefore, uh, the course of action that we believe is the has a highest chance of success. Assuming, unless you won't stumble upon something more beneficial or something that will allow us a breakthrough. Uh, that we need to find a way to cut off the storm so that we may bring in reinforcements. We might not have been able to kill Gravemons for the past 300 years, and I don't give us much chance of doing so even if more allies from the mainland comes to us. But it's not about defeating him, it's about robbing him out of his reward. And he will, as past suggests, he will run if it, if it seems that He'll not be able to pass through the opposition. And he pauses at this point, doesn't ask the question, but if at this point in time you want to raise an issue or whatnot, you may. If there's silence, he shall continue. And for a moment I will put you on a, a world map so that you may see what I'm actually talking about. The thing is that assuming we'll begin this plan will be stretched thin. The as it's called, Black and Tribe is at this point in time marching uh, through the mountains. We will be sending some to interject, not inter interdict them in the mountains to buy us uh, time before they will reach the fortress alongside the undead giants. Uh, but the Point Aquila is left with a uh, skeleton crew. And we do not know, we cannot be sure if the Sahuagin uh, swimming through the underground uh, mazes will attack us. Maybe try, try to hit our back lines. You mean the ones we, wait, no, we are like lizard folk? That's right, not Sahuagin. Yeah, yeah, lizard folk. Yeah. Sahuagin are. Like... Rock scaly folk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and also, there's a matter of the greater summons, creatures that they do possess incredible amount of power, and I, unless absolutely necessary, we do not want to test if you people uh, can content uh, content with them 
but we'll be with the um, storm machine. He's located. And actually, when he points towards the uh, this swirling uh, maelstrom, ma ma maelstrom, uh, Azrak, because I think it was Azrak that had this vision. Uh, you recall that from uh, apparently roughly that that direction, you you have seen uh, a spectral ghostly visage of like. Babylonian like tower uh, reaching towards the sky. That one I don't remember. Ah, oh, okay. So, yeah, no, I. Yeah, it was I, like. I, to be fair, I've had quite a few visions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> closer <laughs> towards the start of the campaign, I, I mm -hmm. believe. But yeah, Azrak, would, right back. Azrak would remember that. Mm -hmm. That. Um, yeah, with all the legendary divination spells that we have uh, used uh, and tracking the flow of energy, ley lines, all of that stuff. Uh, yeah, we determined that the machine that is sustaining this uh, powerful augmented control weather spell com combined with whatever planar spells they use to cut, off, cut us off from the rest of the world. Uh, yeah, it's it's there. Probably submerged, but we believe it might be an ancient ancient structure uh, of some sorts, laying deep, uh, laying deep below. And I believe at this, I think it was Zixos. That would recall uh, the mossy like, uh, wet, humid uh, tunnels and a massive uh, room with a giant humanoid Maokai XP uh, figure that <laughs> acts as a guardian, as a corrupted, twisted guardian of. Uh, of this mm -hmm. uh, device. Mm. Uh, we are absolutely sure that device will be protected. Oh. And judging from the discussions I had with the others in the prior days and uh, weeks and what I know uh, right now you and he looks at uh, well your 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 party uh, you may be one of the very few if not the last uh, last groups last uh, last party of considerable power that uh, is not aimed as at specific target. <laughs> Essentially, everyone else is hella busy dealing with other threats and especially keeping the the greater servants at bay. So if it comes down to it, it probably will be your up to you to deal with the storm machine. It's fine, we're used to dealing with the heavy lifting. Yeah, I think it's time we head out and do it. Enough talking. Mm. But now that I do believe we have a monastery to aid. Mm -hmm. Let's go aid our friends. <laughs> no time to waste. Well, some time. A couple of hours passed, because yeah, you will have to like rest up. Uh, but actually, this will be like a thing for Azak, and I'm gonna like say they, they say this differently, fluff-wise in character. But uh, yeah, out of character, you have um, well, you can still go to the for the monastery option. Uh, however, there's also uh, another possibility. Uh, 
dealing with Azrak's father because the army is marching to here. Do we have and do we have an ETA? Oh. Uh, essentially, you can. Uh, assuming uh, no one will be interdicting them, uh, it will be like within within a day. Actually, hmm. okay. My answer will be partially because I have to like consider several things. Because on one hand, I want to give you guys like a because you're already give yourself better stuff, so I want to, like, uh, flex the timeline in a way that uh, one gives you chance to get your stuff, uh, and two still makes some sense. I'm not claiming all sense, but at the very some sense. Oh, now I see what Azra was in chat. Well, considering, uh, well, both the father and the master have two phases, probably not entirely great. Um. <sighs> Sorry, just I'm for I'm. Thinking heavily and blanking on on words. I just need to uh, how to do, how to do, how to do. Mm. Okay, for in character discussion, it will probably come up that if he would want to go. And also, I'm fine with either way, either choice, because I both prepared the uh, monastery encounter battle, and I both prepared the uh, the battle against uh, uh, against Vrimak, because I don't believe we ever established a canonical name for Azrax and Koron's father. So I just went with uh, Vrimak, and that encounter is also. Oh no, he's fucking dead. Is also is also prepared. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we, we did not come up with the name. He was dead. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. I, you know, I was gonna come up with a third option and say we split the party. It's <laughs> such a horrible idea. I mean, it would help. Who? You know what? Let's do it. Let's we'll split see. the party. We'll Let's see. see what happens. <laughs> I, I feel like that is a great idea because if everyone dies, if everyone defending the monastery dies. Then the monastery would probably fall, and we can still do the summoning. But we tried to defend it, so we're still on the moral high ground, right? Yeah. So if we try and fail, we can still proceed with the plan of summoning. Yeah. So I would say Zixus and Chirrut go help the monastery. <laughs> <laughs> You're are you trying to say they are the weaker members? Wow. No, wow. I'm saying they're the ones that are most. I'm saying they're the ones most morally inclined to help him. The shit talking, I swear. <laughs> Julius, you're muted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, nice moral high ground you got there, glory hounds. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, I never said the Nero was moral. <laughs> Give me just a second because it's getting dark and I didn't turn my lights on and I'm gonna be fucking blind as up. Give me a moment. I feel like this is going to be one of the few parties that can actually split, because... If one dies horribly, they'll just be back. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, before we... Our secret power to see through walls. <laughs> Not concerned, but... 
call it in uh, not fucking hell. What is with my fucking brain today? Uh, so I don't know that, that thing. I have an idea that we're gonna uh, use. I'm not giving you a hyperbolic time chamber to uh, train, <laughs> but to solve the issue of uh, crafting items and getting uh, better stuff for the upcoming encounters so that you guys can actually use the loot, uh, the huge amount of loot that you have uh, received. Uh, yeah, the high level uh, magicians and other support will utilize this uh, crystal and probably other sources of power. Probably That's what make it hypersonic. Probably depowering them in a process because this will be extremely taxing and exhausting and use a lot of energy. Uh, but to essentially speed up and like haste to the maximum for the uh, for the crafters. They'll be fucking tired as shit. It will be so some curious. temporal uh, complications, but uh, go ahead because I think you wanted to say something. It was the um, the demon that we captured, the succubus. Uh, oh, Lady Drax. Yes, yeah, she was. She's a succubus. Succ succubus. Succubus. So, what would implanting her soul into my goblins do? Uh, I mean, among other options, because she's chaotic evil, so she could give you uh, axiomatic, the one that turns weapon chaotic. Definitely unholy. De definitely, definitely unholy. Because she's. I'd be fine with unholy. Uh, anarchic would actually be bad for me. Okay, so definitely unholy. Uh... Fuck! Why are the fun? Uh... Fire, not really, because fire was not her main uh, power, despite mm -hmm. being a demon. Uh, not seductive, but something maybe about... Uh, shit, I need to like, look at the... List of abilities? List of like weapon en enhancements. There's Anarchic, which is chaos. There's Unholy, which is evil. Yeah, un the Unholy, definitely. 100%, that's like... Uh, I'm fine with that, because I am evil. Uh, putting in Arctic would actually be bad for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, are you, are you also lawful evil? I'm also lawful. Hey, lawful evil gang, woo! Nice. Nice. Actually, wait, am I lawful or did I switch to neutral? Let me check. I think I'm pretty sure I'm still lawful, but... Neutral evil is best evil. Yep, still lawful. Uh, and honestly, yeah, I would say two. One is Unholy, and another one is Heartseeker. Heartseeker... Because I, 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 yeah, my logic is that, uh, yeah, she always finds a way to your heart uh, through charming and domination, so transforming that into a weapon would be Heartseeker. That's essentially my logic for this one. Would it be able to be applied to both, or just one? Uh, you can you can get both, like Unholy and Heartseeker. No, I meant like, I have two gauntlets, technically. Ah, uh... Let's just go with one, I think. Mm. Yeah. That's fair. Though, uh, that ignoring concealment is still great, though. <laughs> I'm gonna proceed, right back. proceed to grab and grapple. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. I actually don't think Unholy does. Oh, it does extra damage against. Yeah, it does. All creatures of good alignment, okay. Which, we're probably not going to be fighting any creatures with good alignment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not practical, but it, it makes thematic sense for her. I, I know, 
I know. I was saying the uh, bypassing DR part. Um, I think my plus five weapon just does that anyways. Yeah, unless it's like epic because you need like plus six. Yes, and it is almost impossible to get plus six. I discovered recently, as of today, just thinking about it, that it is possible normally. With four barbarian. All right. Uh, all right, yeah. So, loot-wise, item-wise, you will be up to snuff. Uh, up to date, yep. as the crafters will absolutely work themselves to the bone. You'll probably like switch between here and the point Aquila, where the most of the blacksmiths are remaining. And you shall uh, get your stuff. Uh, just one note, and again, in character, this was also also come up, uh, but just like set in different worlds. Uh, that if you were to go for to deal with Azrak's father first, uh, it would probably be a better idea to do so before he reaches the uh, fortress, because then most of his army will be distracted by the others trying to interdict them. And well, taking out a leader of an entire horde uh, will, well, give better, even better chances for um, for the defenders here. All right, so I got my headband of aerial agility plus six attuned to wisdom. Uh, I also got five giant bane arrows and five greater giant bane arrows. So I'm good. Yeah, now seeing those items, I'm like, yeah, you are definitely on like good wealth per level. <laughs> we are probably above the curve. Yeah. We were below, but now we're above. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, so, to, to, to quote that uh, 300 meme, I'm a generous god. <laughs> I also can fly at will. Right, because my I'm prone to using uh, overly complicated words. So, essentially, and please, for the luck of, of God, I really hope the idea for splitting the party was a joke. I mean, kinda. Sort of. It's a joke until it. It, it was. It was. A, it was one of those. Uh, we'll make the joke, and if it seems receptive, we'll do it. <clears throat> oh, kind of thing. I mean, okay. H hands down, you are aware I'm struggling with stuff, and things do not progress yeah. as quickly as possible, and I struggle with spotlight. If you really want to go for it. I'm like, switching between different battles will not be quick. Honestly, the better thing to do would be... As much as it would suck for the person not in the limelight, instead of switching and not having focus throughout a session, is focus on one battle, one session, focus on the other battle, the other session. Maybe give us like an NBC to control kind of thing. Hmm. If we actually wanted to do that, but we could just fucking go to one and go to the other, since you said we can. Yeah. Both work. I come back. All right, this is an option, because yeah, I, with the NPC support that you have, it is entirely possible that, uh, yeah, you can deal with the one and then tackle the other. But it's like literally entirely up to you. Are we splitting the parties? My question. Well, us. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about the like mechanics of the gameplay of doing that. Yeah, it's a nightmare. And it'd be honestly, especially since you said we can make both, is just to like hit one and then the other. Yeah. yeah. No. Since, since there, is there a downside to picking one over the other to start with? Mm. Well, one person has like a couple of people has to sit out an entire session. 
Well, I mean, I mean, like, if we were to split it, it would be like you give him control of one of the NPCs. Uh -huh. Let him run an NPC for a bit, which would be interesting. Play something else for a session. Yeah, yeah that could be fun. That's about the only way to do it. Jumping between could work, but I feel like there's a lot of mechanics being in place. It could be a oh, bit yeah. of a pain. Do, doing that wouldn't really work, and no one would be focused on their own battle, honestly. Yeah. I mean, at least, at least me personally, I don't care. But I don't, I I think, don't mind like, sitting out. Matt said there's not really like any downside to picking one over the other. Mm. Because we can move so quickly. That is true. Yeah, you have Between quick movement. Plus... Our movement and teleportation. Plus, I definitely do not want to rope like a plot and... No, I mean plot. The... Well... Character story encounter with important figures from character's life. Because also, if, uh, if if you want to split, it was actually is actually fun funny because if you want to split and you said that Zixos goes to monastery, yeah, he would actually, yeah, it would be important for him to be in monastery. That's funny, but um, just curious, Matt, how many of your characters are actually statted out? Uh, you mean the wanderers, the NPCs? The other, yeah. Yeah, the other wanderers. Uh, from the the like, Amazon. Just, this is what that, like this is just what they do. The, kind of thing. The Amazon. But... Uh, the Amazon brigades are started out. However, the others are like f f basically fluffwise. If they ever came up as a active resource <laughs> on a battle alongside you, they'll be. I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, one possible option is like basically, for example, in monastery there might be like a wild fae, wild hunt fae archer that survived, and that could be like a NPC to control. Oh. Any case, though, I think we'll just hit one and then the other. Yeah. Or <laughs> yeah, one of you fucking controlling the E1, the foot tiger, and you fucking see the PDF, how fucking weird the summon is. Yeah. All I have to say is I would uh play the shit out of a cat girl assassin. <laughs> <laughs> so which one are we wanting to hit first in that case? Ugh. Which one is due to happen first, I suppose? Well, the if I recall, the horde is a more of a long term thing because it's gonna, there's going to be a delaying battle before it reaches the fort. Yeah, and but the goal would have been if you're going to go fight it to go fight it, fight it before it hits the fort, kind of thing. As it's yeah. being distracted, because then yeah, you it negates a chance of you wasting resources and getting tired before reaching uh, well, the leader of the horde, meaning Kazrak's mm -hmm. father. Looks on you lot. I can just fucking teleport. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas the other one, I mean, they have to climb a mountain. <laughs> we don't know um, who they're attacking with, but we know the monastery is getting attacked. But like in either case, our, our small little team is much more suited to cutting the head off the snake, so to speak. Uh-huh. Um... I'm just. <laughs> I don't know which one would be the best one to go with first. Okay, so just confirming, no, no party splitting, just deciding which encounter we want to do. Yeah. First. Yep, uh, and I'm on the side of going for the orcs. I. I think we can go for the orcs. Make a mad dash for the monastery. Mm -hmm. Especially since we can just, especially because of the fact that we can just basically travel what all day and night essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, banner of swiftness. You have fucking silly movement speed, overland movement speed. Yeah, so we can basically keep going. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Fly. We could just buff him up enough that he can carry all of us. 
So that's <laughs> so this, pounds, right? So this is what quick traveling feels like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I said, yeah, that's it. Let's go for the orcs then. All right. Right. Orcs first, monastery second. Yeah. I've been reading a story that is like this, and this NPC game character is becoming self-aware, and like notices when the uh, the player that like that is actually like, the PC like stops rolling, and like just starts kind of like jogging with a blank expression on his face. And doesn't really understand why everyone else in the party is just kind of like jogging, not looking at anything, and like nothing happens, but you know just goes along with it. What was the name of the book? Uh, it is a uh, prophecy approved companion. Ah, <clears throat> prophecy it, approved companion. It um, does sound a bit like uh, Drew Hayes's NPC. Who read that? I have not, but if I recall, it was a, uh, um, thing, word, <laughs> a book, a whole thing. Um, inspiration. Oh. Ah, yeah. there they actually did release the first book as a book, and uh, yeah, there it is on Royal Road. Uh mm -hmm. Also, you didn't sell that plus one mithril chain shirt, did you? Because mm. I was right, and as did want it. I think it was assumed that um, as as would want it, so it's okay. fine. I was making sure. I think That's what I thought, but I was confirming. Yeah. In which case, we would have 500 gold less, I suppose. Mm. Oh, did you include it in the calculations? Uh, yeah, I did not, there was nothing right, really next to it. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh okay. Well, you, 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 uh, you asked about it, and I said that I think Zilla wants it. No, I asked about the amulet of Mighty Fists. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, well, well I think gold. you asked about that, and then I also mentioned the armor. Mm hmm. Oh. Well, in this case, I'll take a bit of gold off my calculations because I miscalculated and I have a bit of spare. Sure. Uh, <laughs> you back. Mm -hmm. Can you pull another 500 from that too? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the money I would have paid you back with. Uh huh. I had 500 spare, thankfully, <laughs> so. Fine. I still have like 1k gold pieces left. That's fine. <laughs> uh. So was it 94,000 something? Either way, it's a lot. <laughs> uh, it didn't change. I took it out of my, my calculations. It's fine. Mm. I spent the uh, amount that we got. It's fine. I'm not so I can tell. Uh. What's his name? <laughs> Zillow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As. Yes. Mm. Anyway. As... Speaking of, as I said, I mean, the encounter is like, okay, but question to you. Uh, yeah, do you want to go at it? Uh, go with the battle uh, started without, uh, like, Zill being active and present, yeah. or? I think it's better that way. He shows up angry. Yeah, yeah I'm fine with that. It'll also show just how effective our team is without the uh, ticking time. <laughs> <laughs> if at all effective. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, no. I can. I can definitely yes. keep him uh, busy with with stuff. Yeah, it's probably just safe to say that he's off somewhere else, just causing mayhem. Yeah, tearing through undead storm giants and orc praetorian guard. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so, just to confirm, do you announce your plan, your target, to the others? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Of course. 
very well. I wish you good hunting. Uh, and Golden will be... Yeah, kick their asses. We will be helping you guys in the background. I volunteered our team to... Well, do the distracting. I'll send a couple Whoa. of others, so give them help. <laughs> Will do. Of, of course. Uh. Alright. So, yeah, at this point, it will be definitely several hours after the initial battle of the Cold Fortress, as you have managed to. Rest, recuperate, you are back at full hit points, your resources are restored. So I would say that definitely 8 to 9 hours have uh, passed. And yeah, you are moving out from the fort to the south into the high cold uh, mountains with the wind, uh, wind howling throughout the uh, high peaks and occasional after several a little bit of time of travel um, the sounds of growls the shuffling uh, feet yeah and the occasional growls of the undead giants and heavy thumps of their bodies marching through the valleys and mountain paths alongside Hordes of of orcs, coated in furs, in heavy armor, wearing axes, halberds, um, meat uh, cleavers, weapons of wholesale uh, butchery. Um, you hear the sounds of uh, war drums as they are like drumming their marching uh, song. And of course, sooner rather than later, uh, uh, fuck. Sooner rather than later, uh, fucking hell. I com my idea completely escaped my head. Oh yeah, you are experience enough and have enough skill that you are aware of what you are uh, looking for or what is the idea of uh, you looking for something <laughs> and uh, I would say that especially uh, Azrak would not get a vision but he would have this like very strong gut instinctual uh, feeling almost like this compass of uh, anger of uh, familiarity bathed in blood that would be leading you towards uh, there's a place of duel I would assume as you will be finding yourselves on a patch of still there are like mountains all around but the like patch of slightly plain forestry uh, area uh, covered in snow and you will be starting in the bottom just need to copy your tokens. Snowy day under a starlit sky. <sighs> yeah, and already uh, in the background, I would say for now, I'm gonna hide Zixus token that. Like to the sides or to your back, uh, there are sounds of like flesh being uh, being torn as he's keeping the various orcs uh, occupied, and he's again doing his best uh, Dynasty Warriors in impression. 
I am Shang Fei. <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, uh, yeah, seems like as like that your father, the same form that you have witnessed uh, in one of your, as you stated, uh, many visions, perhaps had a similar uh, feel, as he seems to be waiting for you. Several, for now four. Uh, figures of undead giants standing in the uh, tree lines. Well, well, well. I didn't believe you would be courageous enough to meet me in the field. Back from the dead, it's my job to put you back in the ground. You'll be seeing, we'll be seeing who will be putting whom in the ground. It's you. For your treachery <laughs> and defiance and audacity to raise your hand against me, Oh, I have much anger to work on you. As my companion said, it, it, it's you. We, we literally come back to life. Another dysfunctional family. I'm a little bit uneasy at the familiarity of this. <sighs> Too bad. I don't see your... Uh, what would be the this degrading term for half-blood? I mean, or your society. Bastard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> ha, ha, that, that bastard of mine. Yeah, I don't see your bastard brother anywhere, but I will get to him in time. It's, it is a shame that he couldn't be here. Out of character stares at Nero. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's fine. <laughs> Don't it's do that. It's fine. <laughs> don't, don't. I'll be enough to take you down. We'll see. I have power you cannot even begin to comprehend. Proceeds to make. Proceeds to that twenty knowledge check. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Explodes. <laughs> I mean, as a player, you know what he's referring to because you did so the corruption, the symbol on his soul in a vision. Oh. Just, uh, just a reminder, not yeah. I was gonna say, you mean that uh, corrupting pack you made with Grave Moss? Yeah, I know about it. <laughs> just ru just ruined his yeah. parade of uh, evil uh, lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he's com. I mean, most of the like brother, he's like doesn't doesn't react. He's completely like in his own twisted uh, world. Like whatever. I mean, I imagine in his in his regular life, he already was not a nice person. Oh, but, very unlikely. Yeah, there were times like, but this is like, uh, like he went completely deep end. He's gone. The, the face might be the same, I mean, most the same, the body, the, the voice, but... Is... Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just a fucking puppet. Oh. Yeah, don't worry, he has, like, a specific token, but that has to be reserved for second phase. Uh... That's fair. <laughs> Yeah, you. What he would he respond? Come back to us. Yes, for I am worthy of receiving the greatest power from the most powerful necromancer existence. All will serve in undeath.
between... <laughs> I, I know it's probably not in character for Zillow, but... Uh, I, it was like... Uh, look like uh, there's like a hawk-like... Uh, uh, yell, roar of anger, some of the lines, can you get to the killing par part now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's probably just that... off in the orc army, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! I mean, so that... are you that uh, orc leader guy? What uh, benefits does serving Grave Moss have? <laughs> I have to go with this. <laughs> UNLIMITED POWER! Can and you will see... More, can you describe in more detail? And you will see this right now! You may Do you get dental? You may roll initiative. <laughs> dental is very important. Especially as an immortal. Little do you know, <laughs> oh, yeah, Jesus you don't is one of the few things but doesn't regenerate. Oh yeah, you don't want to spend eternity with a toothache. Oh, not 20, nice. Hey, we're in mountains. <laughs> I mean, That's true. yes, this is like mountains. Uh, I mean, the biome is mountains. The the path, the, this patch itself is like a... Well, sure, but... Yeah, yeah, I know, mean, yes, his... yes, 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 yes. Why is that? It, it applies. So just give me, just give me one moment. Why is that not applying the initiative bonus there? What the hell? Uh, Honestly, most of the time, your best bet is underground. Underground and urban. This campaign, not so much, but... Most I mean, campaigns, underground and urban. Okay, uh, I'm gonna roll my initiative for whatever it is, add plus... Add four to it, because something's not fucking showing up, probably. I mean, I got an eight, so it's whatever. Okay, I got... 30. <laughs> that, 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 that should, they should read 30.12. There we go. I, I, I like this. Uh, 30, 28, 25, 8. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody skipped initiative day. Would you like to know what my dexterity is? Please tell. Um, 10. Correct. <laughs> it is not negative. Impressive. Most impressive. <laughs> Well, that'd be a minus to my AC, right? I so I can't dump him. Dex, but I certainly can't add to it. That's a tragedy. Dump <laughs> Dex based AC. <laughs> mm. Alright, with the two handed Great Axe in hand, uh, wearing heavy fur, uh, but actually. You, you get a feeling that most of his uh, armor is from an amulet that he's wearing and some sort of like black metallic uh, bracers uh, on his arm. The imposing muscular uh, figure of Vrimak, the leader of Black Hand Tribe, stands uh, against across this uh, white snowy field. Let the combat begin. I want to say, right this at this moment in time, these undead giants, they are still. Okay, well, um, oh, I forgot. No, wait, I, I wish. forgot. I have, shit, I have yet to fucking roll for him. Uh, and actually, would he have that? I suppose the question is, are we just going to let yes. Azrak wail on his father, or are we intervening? Get rid of the giant before we do anything about that. I need to um, reset Discord. Sure. Alright. <laughs> actually, for now let's keep it that way. Hello. 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 Again. Bonjour. All right. I mean, if you let me, well, 
just wait on the father. That's who I'm going for. Fuck the giants. I would say literally, but we don't have a bard. <coughs> Aha! I'm back. Um, Nero yeah. is going to, uh, as a swift action, um, apply haste to himself. Uh, before then, going to just teleport uh, a grand total of 80 feet. <laughs> oh my god, can this thing not... Yeah, actually, that's a long map I managed to find. And then he's going to just... He's going to teleport onto like one of the branches of the trees and just sort of chill there. <laughs> right. Very well. Uh, that's, that's my turn. That's your turn? Alright. Yeah. Move action, give everyone here, including the Falcon, plus 30 foot movement speed. Standard action, go here, Swift stances, and turn. Sherlock. Alright. So, uh, does it give me fly speed as well? like haste, so 30 foot take on moment. Yeah, I believe so. It's the movement, so fly is a type of movement. Alright. Gonna fly... Gonna uh, run oh, 20 feet over. Uh, let me check. Because if it... If it is below 30, it doubles it. Actually... Uh, actually... Uh, no. Uh, no? Wait, no, let me check to make sure. Uh, no, it it's just, it, it's just flat 30 feet. I have a fly oh, speed. Okay. Yeah, sorry, no, I, I said like haste to uh, in, in, make it easy to understand and then it became oh. more complicated. Thank <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> uh, you, Pathfinder. It, it doesn't say if I have a fly speed uh, on my sheet, so I'm gonna uh, check uh, the uh, uh, Tengu. Uh, um, Tango would need a feat for it, if I recall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck feats, I got magic. <laughs> In which case, you'd see whatever's giving it to you, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, that's right, he's got the. He, yeah, that's right. Um, Cherok has a headband of aerial agility. So I can cast a fly spell on myself. At yeah, will. At, at, at will. <laughs> so I'm going to fly... What? So I went 20 feet over here, I'm going to go 30 feet up in the air and go another <coughs> 10 feet, so that's 60 feet. I'm doing right. No. <sighs> 30 feet in the air. Now, me and my falcon can truly be one. <laughs> fusion! <laughs> He's gone full fusion. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's my turn. Or is it. Can I hit him from over here? They are. I do believe I still have one. Uh, uh, standard action left, unless uh, at will action is uh, standard action. Um, it just means you can cast it whenever. So you you would have used your standard action to cast fly on oh. yourself. Okay, in that case, uh, that's an end of my turn. Yes. All right. It just means that you can do it unlimited times per day. Okay. Uh. Vrimak will start basically almost like a Zozo walking towards you. Well now, what's it going to be? Are you gonna hide behind your pathetic friends? And uh, 
No, I just rolled initiative eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, like, no, I just have to wait my fucking turn. You know how this works. Fuck. That's in character conversation. <laughs> Fuck. I, yes. Why I, not? Almost, I almost lost my throat. <laughs> oh, poor GM almost died. <laughs> yeah, Discord didn't. I have boob yet. Why not? I didn't think I improved the initiative. Discord didn't cut it, but I literally almost busted along. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the next bit. I'm going to choose Simon, which is going to be improved initiative on Nero. <laughs> <coughs> and he's going gonna... <laughs> And he's going to prepare because because he cannot beat the shit out of you without getting closer. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm the one that's gonna be beating the shit out of him. <laughs> Actually, it's fuck, gonna that's that's gonna All right. that's not gonna work because of reach. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want, now I want the fan art of these two walking uh, menacingly towards each other. Yeah, that's literally it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fucking hell, I literally do not have voice. Anyways, uh, yeah, he's preparing. Uh, yeah, actually, if you want to, because he assumes, uh, not a stance stance, but he, like, takes, like, a fighting combat position, and you may be able to figure out what, what sort of <coughs> martial disciplines he's using. And if you wish, you can make, a, like, a free knowledge check, but I have no idea what sort of knowledge would it be to figure out. Knowledge martial. <coughs> All right. Which is, I... hey, guess what? I've actually invested <coughs> in it. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, if you want to, you, you may make a roll. I, I assume anyone that can see him can make the roll, is that right? Yeah, yeah. You're not engaged in combat yet, so... <coughs> Your focus is not occupied. <coughs> that was on a five. <laughs> wow, you really invested in that. <laughs> I, I wasn't joking. <laughs> All my knowledge skills are like rank 7 or 10. <coughs> Alright. <clears throat> so I'm gonna give you uh, this. Uh, Vrimak will be using two martial disciplines. Primal Ooh. Fury and Scarlet Throne. Oh, well, that's gonna be a lot of damage. <laughs> that's what I was looking for, there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. gonna be a lot of damage. Watch out! Scarlet Throne hits like a truck. And I think. So we're not through. spiritualists or summoners. Just stand there, <laughs> menacingly looking at each other, while our spirits or our idolons just start beating the shit out of each other next to us. <laughs> I mean, that's an amusing idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Azrak, it is your turn. Let's see. I. I'm going to charge him. Right. No, you're walking menacingly very, very fast. Yeah, I'm walking menacingly. It seemed to be covering too much ground. Very fast. <laughs> it's like when the animation and the movement speed doesn't quite sync up. <laughs> it's actually hilarious because I... Uh, because... I could make that in a move action. <laughs> face. <laughs> I'm just doing it for the plus two bonus. To uh, hit because <coughs> reasons. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm just double checking, but it, it is... yeah, essentially you come. He's preparing to make a swing, but then you like at the last moment his eyes slightly widen. Oh, you have tricks, don't you? As like you reach from outside his. Uh, Range and this is against normal AC, right? Yeah, uh, Zixis, did you give your attack buff or is it just speed? It's a speed, I'll give you attack next round. Okay. Mm -hmm. then, speed. then, uh. Yes, it is against AC, so that probably misses. Since you asked. Yeah, not by much, but. I rolled a 7, it's it, fair. It is, it is a miss. Yeah, it's fair, I rolled a 7. As he counters it with the axe. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, he like, think he like manages to bounce off your strike, but then as he would want to swing at you, you are outside of range because he doesn't have reach. 
At least for now. What a nerd. <laughs> <laughs>